Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you on, on how to survive your first night on Minecraft. Now your first night is always the most important, so let's get started. Create any survival mode that you feel comfortable with and wait for the world to load. Now do remember that you will respawn in a random location, so you won't respawn in the same location that I am in. But I will show you the basics that you need to know for the first day. Now the first day is always the most important, so we're going to have to get the basics. Now the most basic item you must get is shelter. Always try and get shelter because that's going to be your most important thing for the first night. First things first, go to any nearby tree and using your left click option, click on the square of the tree. Now depending on what kind of type of tree it is, you'll get that certain type of wood. Let's try and get around 10 woods or logs. It doesn't matter what kind of tree you cut down, it would all be fine. Do remember that you have about 7 to 8 minutes directly your, your world has loaded until it gets dark. So we're going to have to use our time wisely. Um, because we don't want to be messing around as you know your first day is always the most important day and you don't want to mess it up once you have got around 10 wood we're going to have to open up our inventory to make some planks so press letter E and it will open up this window then just pl place your your wood in any of these squares that I am using at the moment and just if you want just put them all on top of each other you don't have to you know do whatever you want just put them on top of each other and this will make planks each log will give you uh, four planks if you use these planks on top of each other so put one on top of another this will create sticks now sticks are very important so use them wisely We are now going to have to use a crafting table, so use four planks all around each other, so put uh, one of each plank in each of the crafting squares. This will make a crafting table. Then use your crafting table on the lower slot and then place the crafting table on any surface. Right click on the crafting table and this will open up this window. So we're going to make a pickaxe now use three planks on the top column and then leave two sticks in the middle row then we're going to make a hatchet or an axe so use two planks on the top column and then one plank and two sticks in the middle column exactly like this you now have the two basic um, tools you're going to be using so let's collect our crafting table real quick so destroy the crafting table and we get the crafting table in our inventory. Now is a good time to go and look for some kind of shelter. I strongly suggest digging through a mountain or a, into a cave, you know, some sort of area where you can find the basic resources. Um, for today, this is going to have to be our location there's chance that we won't find any coal or you know iron in here but sadly it will have to do for today because we're running out of time and we're going to have to look for shelter as soon as we can because we don't really want to run out of time um, so just go to any cave or any mountain that you find applicable for you know your need and start digging you can obviously use your hand to dig but this will take a lot longer so using a pickaxe is just a lot faster our next aim is to find coal, iron, those sorts of items that can be found underground um, they can obviously be found on the surface also but it's very rare so we're going to have to look for it underground we need coal for the furnace we need cobblestone for the furnace also I've got some cobblestone in the inventory at the moment but today's aim is just to find shelter and to find coal 
Now hopefully I will find coal. It's not rare to find. It should be very easy to find. Um, but there is a, obviously a chance that you might not find it. Once it gets dark, zombies, skeletons, spiders, jellies, those sort of creatures that attack you will appear. So you do not want to leave any cave wide open. You can easily leave a cave without getting into danger by using just one square as an opening. Um, and you don't want your cave to get too dark either. If your cave gets pitch dark, jellies, um, bats, skeletons, you know, all, all of those will appear and you don't want them to appear. So be very careful with how much you open your cave up um, because if it gets too wide open to the, the public, uh, it could become very dangerous for you. So be very careful with the kind of opening you have for your cave. There's going to be some parts in the video where I will be busy doing my mining so I won't be talking much but in case you need another pickaxe just place your crafting table anywhere and make another pickaxe. If you need more sticks do so if not just carry on. So in case I stop talking it means I'm busy you know minecrafting so I do apologize for that. just say you want a pickaxe for stone you place two sticks in the middle column and then you place stone on the top row this will make a stone pickaxe this will be faster and will last longer than the the wooden pickaxe so you can easily go on upgrading your pickaxes as you go along as you can see it's so much faster and it will last longer time so I'm just going to carry on expanding my my cave because I'm looking for coal or for iron and I hopefully I will find some because I'm going to need some soon so hopefully I can find some very soon. Every so often you're going to want to go outside and see if it's dark or not um, because you don't want to be digging too far away from the sunlight so I suggest making you know a few holes here and there um, for sunlight to enter as if you leave, make it too dark zombies, skeletons, bats, spiders all of those creatures will appear and you do not want that so try and make you know extra breathing holes whatever you want to call it just for some extra air and for some sunlight which is very important as you can see we have now found an extra light hole and as you can see already it is so much brighter inside um, so that could be an option to keeping zombies away. Tomorrow I will show you on how to make a torch and a furnace which is going to be very important for another day of survival. If you want you can make loads more holes for your sunlight. You know, Just make sure your cave doesn't get too dark. If not zombies will appear. So just be very careful. If you think that by any chance you might need some more wood and you want to venture out just to get some more wood, that is completely fine. Use your axe for you know extra speed, but just be very careful to not stay out too long. And it, be very careful to be able to find your way back to your cave depending on where you are located. But you know, it's completely fine to go out another once or twice before it gets dark just be very careful to not get killed
Because if you do get killed, you will lose your resources. I've almost reached the top I think yeah so you might not want to do the same as I did here because as you can see I've done one square on the roof and skeleton zombies all of those are one square so they could easily fall through into the cave so be very careful with where you place your openings so we've almost finished for the first day um, I hope this video has been enjoyable it is one of my first few Minecraft videos and hopefully I'll be able to make more in the future. So please subscribe, like and comment and hopefully I will see you all tomorrow. I'm just going to keep on expanding my cave whilst you know I have the time. And there we go, another cave entrance. So the more cave entrances you have the better. Be very careful with where you place them. Um, I will teach you some more techniques tomorrow in what to use. You know, the furnace, uh, torches, all of those will be very useful tomorrow. So, I'll see you all tomorrow.